My name's John, and uh, I play the spoons. I grew up in a musical household, and in fourth grade, it was time for concert band to pick an instrument, and I really wanted to play the clarinet. So I told my parents, and they said, you have way too much energy for the clarinet. Why don't you try the drums? And I was like, the drums are stupid. I hate the drums. And they said, just give the drums a chance. If in a few months you don't like it, you can go to clarinet. So I went to that first rehearsal, and I loved it. From like snare drum and bass drum to timpani and xylophone and crash cymbals. I was making all these crazy sounds in a room full of people making music together. And I knew right from then that it was something that I wanted to do for my whole life. So throughout school, I played in a whole bunch of groups. And by high school, I was in like symphony, and I was in concert band. I was in a metal band. I was in a rock band. And I started playing jazz. And I actually ended up going to the University of Illinois to study jazz percussion. And it was there that I first learned to really dig into a genre and learn it to its core and learn the history of the music. So when I left the University of Illinois, I joined a band called the Way Down Wanderers. And the Way Down Wanderers, our music is rooted in bluegrass. And I wanted to be able to serve that music in the same way that I served the jazz that I was studying in college. So I looked to Appalachian musics, and I found that there's some pretty cool percussion in it. So you've got like, uh, like soft shoeing or flat footing, you've got washboard, and you've got the spoons. And the spoons stuck out to me right away because it was like, here's an instrument that if I could learn to play this, then like, I could play it anywhere because everyone has these in their house. <laughs> also, this was a lot easier to carry than a drum set. Um, and yeah, so spoons are not originally from Appalachian music. Uh, you can find spoons in Greek and Roman folk musics, in Turkish music, in Egyptian music. People have been playing music with utensils for thousands of years. And the spoons that I use are actually from the late 1800s. And these are, um, these are US Navy sterling silver soup spoons. And if you're going to be picky and get a Navy spoon, you want to get spoons from before the 1950s. Because that's when the Navy and the International Silver Company realized that you can make a spoon with a lot less metal, so they're flimsier. But the first spoons that I used were just some from my mom that she let me borrow because they didn't match with the rest of the set. <laughs> and I've had a lot of people ask me, like, oh, did you learn to play spoons from like a grandparent? And like, I, that would be a really good story. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, but I actually just uh, typed in on YouTube how to play the spoons. And um, so yeah, what I learned is you take the two spoons, you're going to face them back to back like that, and then you're going to take your dominant hand, your pointer finger, it's going to go in between the two spoons. Then you're going to want to wrap your middle finger in the middle and your top finger on top. And then you want about a half an inch there in between. Your thumb is sort of in straight line with the spoon. And you want it where when you're shaking, you're holding tight enough that they don't make noise. The way they're going to make noise, it's going to go between your leg and your hand. And you're going to go. And that's, and that's basically it. And I thought that was so cool that here's an instrument that, like, you can just so quickly you know, catch on, and you know, it's not this super expensive thing to get. And I've done a few workshops with kids, and I always love when I hand a kid spoons. And they're like, OK. And then I take mine, I'm like, and they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they're making music right away. And to me, that's so cool that they don't have to think about like ego, or like, you know, do I have this fancy instrument? Do I have this? crazy skill or virtuosity. It's just about going and playing. And to me, that's what music was all about. It was about being with a bunch of friends and family and having fun playing together. And I hope that you guys are able to go home and try playing the spoons for yourself. And hopefully, you have some fun with it. So I'm going to play some spoons for you all.